The ginkgo has not grown yet. A single mountain is still standing. The shadow of trees lingers temporarily. The sunset gives a beautiful full view. One who loves flowers, mountains and literature cannot doubt the existence of God. The lesson is God for us probably isn't so hot. Embedded in Akoko is Arigide. Arigide Akoko is in Akoko North East local government area of Ondo State. Blessed with rich cultural values with many spiritualists. Detected by a wise man at Arigide Town, an event has happened upon which it's difficult to speak and equally impossible to be silent. Welcome, welcome. People say that without being frozen, a substance will never become solid. Without trials and tribulations, a man will never become intelligent. So it was for Palamidi Adams. On the 30th of April 1970, awaited the birth of a great hero. For it is in our worst moment that God give us some insight. Alas, there was celebration galore in the house of Pal Lamidi Adams. On the eighth day of birth, the infant hero awaiting Christianity, traditional objects were used to bless the child. Bitter cola, the same cola used for centuries in traditional medicine to treat different ailments. 
Alligator pepper. Small taste given to the own babies. As part of the routine of baby birth control. Ashe. Onore ire ni o. Ashe. Wari na kore o. Ashe. Ah, ijo. Salt and honey to symbolize this. Did you not la bali on ijo? Happiness and joy also included among the objects blessed. Ayo abo kale o o ni di baje o a wa so omo yi loruko lo ni o e ma wu tele mi gani infant hero was christian gani yu abi odun abi odun omo ada son of pala midi and madam dada ada gani gani ige abi odun abi odun omo ada omo ada Doctor ya to bi baba otunba doctor gani adams otun je omo ba so omo ile oba ni gani adams and so the journey started for the young hero due to the nature of his father's job gani attended primary schools in many parts of nigeria he started his formal education at Ami Children's School, Otupo, Benue State. After which, his family returned back to Arigibi Akoko in Ondo State. It was at infantry and as a toddler, the prophecy came to Baba and Mama Gani from irrefutable prophet Otitokoro. As it came even in the times of old, it also came to Ghani at infantry. Nile, e ko do biku nle ni kia 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 kia. Oma na o si bodo kuo, oma na o bodo kuo. Ite se ta ana mi si mi ana kia kia. Si. Gani was to be taken away from Marigidi to Erusu on a mild and temporary exile at a tender age. He must be quickly taken away, not sleep, right on the day of prophecy. A word is sufficient for the wise. Ghani must not die. Sometimes God doesn't tell us why, because He wants us to know who. And one should not wait until a war has started before finding the string to one's bow. It is wise to be prepared all the time. And off they left Ghani and his parents from Marigidi Akoko to Erusu, the country home of late Madam Dada Adams. There he was till another facet of his life began. The prophecy from Otitokoro was not the only time there was a warning concerning Ghani. There were numerous other occasions, one of which was that Ghani shouldn't be carried across a river. This warning was not added to, which almost resulted in grave consequences, as the boat in which Ghani and Madam Ghani were being transported in almost capsized. 
the ferryman who was a spiritual as well and he asked madam Dad, why did you carry this boy across the river when you were in war not to do so she then apologized and promised to abide this is just the beginning Oh, wow.